Growth in the world's population, economy and rapid urbanization will result in the increase in electricity demand over the coming years. The demand is increasing about twice as fast as overall energy use. If we keep burning fossil fuels like coal, natural gas, oil at our current rate, it is generally estimated that all our fossil fuels will be depleted by near future. This leads to the rise of renewable energy usage around the world. Renewable energy is one of the most effective tools we have in the fight against the climate change. Solar energy is the most abundant energy resource on Earth. About 173,000 terawatts of solar energy strikes the Earth continuously. That's more than 10,000 times the world's total energy usage. Undoubtedly, the Sun is the most powerful energy source. The lifetime of Sun is estimated as 4 to 5 billion years, making solar power truly a long-term energy solution. However, there are few disadvantages in this. We can't collect solar power at night on the Earth. So, solar panels can only generate power during the daytime. And much of the sunlight is absorbed by the atmosphere during its travel to Earth. So, what if we collect the solar power up in the space and beam it down to the surface? Since clouds, atmosphere and nighttime are absent in the space, satellite-based solar panels would be able to capture and transmit more energy than normal solar panel in Earth. The idea of collecting solar power in space was popularized by science fiction author Isaac Asimov in 1941 in his short story. In 1968, American aerospace engineer named Peter Glaser wrote the first formal proposal for a solar-based system in space. Space-based solar power involves collecting the sun's energy in the space and then wirelessly transmitting it to the earth. Giant mirrors are installed in the space to collect solar energy from the sun. This solar energy is converted into electrical energy using the solar panels. Again, this energy is converted either into microwave or laser and then beam to earth. On earth, power receiving stations collect the beam and add it to the electric grid. However, this has not yet been demonstrated. Why? Space-based solar power requires very high investments and research before it's ready for use. Japanese researchers successfully transmitted electric power wirelessly using microwaves, which is an advancement towards this space-based solar power technology. China plans on putting a commercial-scale solar power station in orbit by 2050. Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam worked on mission and space programs in India before becoming the president of India. He said, I have been proposing the large mission like bringing space solar power to the earth would need the combined effort of all nations. His interest in space-based solar power came from the need to meet India's growing energy requirements while moving away from the fossil fuel. If you are interested in this kind of video, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so that you will be notified each time I upload a video.